Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to my unboxing video of a second Sony PlayStation 4 controller since I got my first one with the console itself. So let's get opening up this box. Fragile in big red letters. I need to get something better for doing these unboxing videos really. I'm just using his scissors at the moment, which isn't ideal. Oh my god! Oh no, I hate it when they do this shredded stuff inside. It's totally messy. Wow, okay. I got this from GameStop, by the way. Um, it's the first time I've bought anything from GameStop. Oh, I really don't like that, that they've used shredded card. I, I don't think you can see it that properly on this, but it's left loads of dirt on the box. Ugh, it's horrible. Um, but yeah, first time ordering from them. I got it for £40, which is actually the cheapest I was able to find a PlayStation 4 controller at the moment. Um, so I thought I may as well get a second one. So here it is. PlayStation 4 DualShock for wireless controller. Um, so, a USB cable is not included. Well, that sucks. That's kind of cheap considering you're paying £40 for a controller. I obviously got one with the PlayStation 4 console and the first controller I got, so I guess I'll have to just use that for now and maybe pick up a second USB at a later stage or see if I've already got one. Um, something like that. Probably have actually. So let's start opening this up. So my impressions of the controller so far is it's really comfy to hold. Um, it actually feels nicer to hold from what experience I've had so far. I don't know much about the battery life because I haven't gamed too much considering I've only just got the system. So I can't comment on that as of yet. So here it is. So once again we've got some stickers around here for protection I guess or to keep it clean. Um, we've got the headphone port, we've got the home button, um, the analogue sticks which uh, do feel quite nice. We've got, you know, the L and R shoulder buttons, the light here, the front touch, and uh, that's about it. Weight-wise, it's pretty light. Um, I think it's probably a bit lighter than the um, PlayStation 3 controller, but I, I don't know, actually. I don't have the controller on me. I sh probably should have mentioned that in my PlayStation 4 unboxing video. So, um, another thing I'm going to show you on this video is I actually picked up Knack. Um, it was on sale in Granger Games for £25. I had £15 worth of Granger Games vouchers that had been sat in my purse for about seven months. So, I was able to pick up Knack for just £10 of my own money, which is a pretty good deal, I think, to be honest. Haven't played it yet whatsoever, um, looking forward to playing it. I don't know if I'll do a Let's Play or not. I'm kind of hoping you guys leave a comment on this video and let me know if you think I should do a Let's Play. But obviously the main game I will be focusing on is Thief. Um, but I might be looking at doing a second Let's Play with um, the PlayStation 4. I just haven't decided what one to do yet. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think I should do, whether you think I should do Knack or you can suggest other games. Bear in mind I don't take requests but I am open to suggestions and if I think I will enjoy that game then I could very well end up doing a Let's Play on it. So that's about it really. Um, what other games am I going to be getting? Well, I did say in my original video that I was going to get Tomb Raider, which I still want to get, but I'm not doing a Let's Play on that as of yet, and actually I don't even know whether I should do a Let's Play on that anymore, because 
um, of the copyright issues on YouTube so I haven't quite decided on if I'm just going to scrap that idea altogether. So the main games I will be focusing on for now are Thief and a couple of games that I managed to get free from my PlayStation Plus subscription. I'll do a couple of gameplay videos of those and stuff like that. So yeah, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think I should do and stuff like that. Again, please don't bombard me with PSN friends requests. I'm not adding a load of people. I'm trying to keep my friends list down to just people I play with. Currently, the main games I play online are Vita games anyway, so I'm actually not adding anyone on the PlayStation 4 because I do not have any multiplayer games right now. So, um, or at least ones that I don't play. I, I haven't really played much of them. So if you see any gameplay videos popping up of multiplayer games on my channel, then feel free to see if you can add me and then I'll comment and let you know if I'm going to be playing them a lot and stuff like that. So I'll just keep you all updated really, so just stay tuned to my channel. So thank you all for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time.